it is so wonderful uh, to have uh, Prathna here in this episode and uh, optimism, hope. Tamanna means that a wish, a dream. And I'm sure with many young people like Prathna will make this world a better place to live, not only for themselves, but for the rest of the world. We have forgotten that there are people who may be different, but they're beautiful. They're so beautiful that they can lend some beauty, truthfulness and honesty even to us. In my generation, we were actually trying to bring the two sides of the world together. I have always felt that those who are um, strong and, um, you know, enabled and, um, you know, doing very well have to walk towards those uh, who are so-called disabled, which is a bad word though, but they certainly need enabling. Now, when we bring both the uh, walks of life closer to each other, that divide can be broken. So what would your um, uh, solutions be? What would you suggest to take this thought forward that is bringing the two sides together so that there is a handshake and there's a meeting point. And uh, uh, I also believe strongly that this uh, meeting point will not only be gainful for those who need it, but also for those who will come forward to shake their hand because the kind of education you can receive from those so-called disabled is so much more than you can even imagine. I think a great starting point would be honestly just discussing the very presence of lack of a lack of typicality because um, we see the world in black and white. We see the world in an in-group and an out-group, we and them. And people with disability are often seen as them and not a part of a group that is present and that is quote unquote normal, which is honestly very, very stupid. So I guess a great starting point would be just talking about it. Yes, uh, as time increases and as time goes ahead, it is also very important to provide medical and theoretical interventions for the same. And hopefully people who do not have um, neurodivergence can be included in those interventions. And there can be education in classes that are junior classes. And it can be talked about as something that's normal because it is. Um, someone uh, having diabetes or being born with diabetes is normal uh, because their insulin levels don't work properly similarly someone's neurons do not functioning properly is something that is very human and that needs to be acknowledged um, access is very important and opening up sectors, opening up situations, opening up jobs for people with disabilities is extremely important. And providing those stepping stones and providing those special um, facilities in terms of be it hearing uh, aids, people or translators is necessary. We often told that um, the that pe it's a rat race we're often told that the beast will win but we often forget that we're humans we're social animals we're people who where well, we should be people who care and because we should care because we should be people who have empathy and sensitivity and we are surrounded by each other, we should care for people around us and hence overstretch ourselves if needed for people 
who are not who this world is literally not made for we have made this world for ourselves we didn't make this world for them it's not their fault that this world was made for them uh, now that you have been looking at the special schools the tamana special schools and uh, the kind of students who are studying there and how happy they are um, uh, what do you think is uh, the kind of education that you are going to receive in the united states will um, attribute to making the education system for the special people better in your own country i guess we cannot say that the education system for people with disabilities in the united states is perfect either there is a lot for us to learn and there is a lot for them to learn but um, i think something that has genuinely inspired me from the united states and i am aware that the indian education institutions and the indian government has facilitated accommodation but um, i have a personally uh, i mean very close with how the american education system deals with accommodation and i think that's one thing it does very well and i think that's the way it does can be in a way transferred it can be more centralized um i do believe that my education is not limited to something i will receive at the institution i go to um yes research has a lot of to play in it but definitely i have seen and learned a lot from tamana also and i think every country every institution has a long way to go so the whole idea of creating special schools uh, for the first time here in delhi was to give an opportunity to these children uh, to be out of their homes and uh, to be able to do special education to do therapeutic intervention to be able to do vocal uh, you know do some uh, skills and music art dance sports uh, then later the government came out with this uh, uh, education policy that special kids can be admitted into the regular schools now the poor parents they like their kids to go to the regular schools and they don't want to be labeled to study in a special school but it so happens that they all come back after a year or two what do you think about the role of special schools um for these children so i believe that well as einstein said a fish cannot climb up a uh, cannot climb the tree i believe that the theory of complete objective education is a fraud i disagree with the idea that people can receive the same education and gain the same kind of um, knowledge because education works in different ways for different people be it how someone absorbs information be it tactile visual or hearing based or the way a brain receives information or simply the neurotransmitters working for the action potentials to kind of well work in a way to kind of like sensorily indulge in information it is very very subjective and very very different and i do believe that we need a subjective stance a place where um, basic education needs can be met for a further more holistic um, for a more holistic um, or and as we say objective need to be met so it has to be equity to lead to equality and there has to be a bit of that specific um, education based change that serves people with disability